Well, that doesn't look good. Hello, Lucilio. I'm in North Carolina. It's the start of what is going to be five. Long weeks of business travel and business meetings. I'm trying to get better at business meetings. Also, while I'm here, I'm setting for myself the goal of escaping from America not fatter than I arrived because of a fallen off the health bandwagon a bit lately. And I really don't want to make things worse, but that might be impossible given that in America the streets are paved with donuts. But I'm going to tree, and right now that's future Gray's problem. Current Gray is on the porch with a dog visiting family, so no more vlogging, and let's a skip to Denver, Colorado. Just stopping off to get some coffee and use the restroom and tornado shelter and eat bad food strangely. More details later. Anto San Jose, California just south of San Francisco. Work travel is never fun, but it's extra not fun when you arrive at the hotel to find out that they don't have your room that you booked months ago. The reservation they have, but not the room. Suspiciously, it seems many people who booked the hotel rooms at a super cheap price before the hotels realized that Wode had changed locations to a new city. Because people don't have rooms, the rooms have been re-rented at a higher price. So what happens to the people who do have a reservation? Why conveniently they put you in a hotel on the other side of the city? A hotel with the duchiest privacy, please sign. What have you ever seen? With the privacy, please sign. But I didn't flee across an ocean and a continent to be 45 minutes away from all of the reasons that I'm here. So I was rather firm with the hotel, and suddenly, like magic, they did have a free upgrade to a better room, but not for tonight, so we still have to be at this place, and I can't tit up any of me work, and it won't to be until I drive back tomorrow morning that I can actually get started on the reasons that I'm here. In fairness, the apology suit is quite nice, and it comes with an apology letter and apology chocolate that I can't eat because I must escape from America not fatter. Cool pro tip you can have stuff delivered to the hotel so you don't have to pack it. This is only half the boxes I have to unpack, and I didn't unpack all the boxes in the boxes, but as I switched hotels this morning I am running out of time before Wode begins, so I need to get out of here. Wode kiss a conference where Apple brings developers from the wide world to announce new features of their software so programmers can implement them. A ticket inside is a front row to the future. A row side is a front to the future. I don't have a ticket. I've got a hotel room and a wish list, which is far more funny for crowd reactions anyway. And fooling around on Twitter during the boring parts. Keynote, so over now it's time to set up my mobile office. Watch some technical talks. Attend Tech Podcasts to discuss the Tech and sometimes with sing-alongs. Which brings us to Why Am I Here? At the end of Wood Kits to record a podcast about Wood. The podcast is called Cortex on a network called Relay and that's another reason that I'm other than I am now called all the val that of val that you see val I'm
There's a big relay listener meetup that I'm going to. Pascre didn't film anything at the event, but to be fair to him, he was running on low power mode at that point. I really find jet lag so frustrating. On this trip, I'm trying to acclimatize to West Coast time. I was out last night at the Relay Podcast meetup. I was just talking to people, and then Poway was hit with that. I'm going to fall asleep immediately feeling. So I come back to the hotel to get a good night's sleep, but no, of course, here I am. It's four in the morning. I know I'm just going to be awake for a while like a zombie. Thanks, jet lag. I was on me way to go find some coffee, but I think this is what I need to do today. This is goal number one, but later coffee first. All right time to do this. I tried to do some fancy camera work, but then this happened, so forget that. No more recording in James while I'm doing weight stuff. It feels super weird to vlog then anyway. America is a place where you can really double down on your eating mistakes. I really want to avoid that so me plan while I'm here is just to cut out as many carbohydrates as I can from my diet. This means no pancakes, no bread, no pastas, no pizza, no crackers. Normally the kind of stuff that I would eat an enormous amount of winning under a lot of pressure and doing a lot of work. And since he, he also traveling at the same time, it's kind of doubly hard, but it is possible to do if you can eat the eggs, but not the muffin. So I am going to the supermarket to load up on all the kinds of things that I am going to be eating lots of. Meat and cheese and eggs and emergency almonds and emergency jerky. It's not fun, and it's not what I want to do, but this is the most simple and effective thing that I have found in the past for dropping or maintaining weight, and if there's so one thing, I could use this summer bits. A bit of simple. Thank you, check out robots. You don't ask any questions, and I really appreciate you for that. Conferencing is mentally taxing, but I find it helps to map the outlines of the day and try to specify what objectives for time well spent air. What I need to do, who I need to see, what sessions I should go to. And as a personal development point, I'm trying to get better at meeting with interesting people while I'm business traveling and these conferences can be a crazy overlapping puzzle of everyone's schedules. Right now I'm on me way to a meeting with someone. The only time we can find for both of us that overlapped is while he's packing his bags to go. So that's where I'm headed. All right. Packing meeting over. On to more stuff. The no-carbohydrates health plan is going pretty well so far, but now during business meetings I'm the weirdo who's not eating the burger bun and has to explain why. Do I recognize the model of truck? I do not. I've been lucky enough to be invited out to see some interesting headquarters in the past, including Dropbox and Facebook. This time it's Google with their, why is there a dinosaur over there? And this is a sad, dystopian graveyard of Android's past. And office interior they really rather you didn't film. Then on to the computer history museum with so many buttons. I want to press them all and remembered fun things long forgotten. 
and traumatic things long forgotten and got totally distracted by seeing me first tesla charger in real life oh god tesla's tesla's as far as the a can see oh this is the x i am pretty tired and i really don't want to it's been a long day but i'm going to the gym and everywhere you go in america screens 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 but you know what thank you but no thank you all right i'm doing this pretty pleased about that i had just i really didn't want to do it but i'd only just barely started a streak of exercising so i was going to quit on the third day but yeah not a thing that i wanted to do but i am very glad it's done and now it sits a shower time i've yet to be at a conference that does feel like it's just one day too long and this is the last day the big responsibility today is to record cortex but before that happens i want to treat to fit in just a little bit of exercise i'm going to get me a bicycling in while i prepare for cortex so avi got the bike it looks like on the map there so I park along the Guadalupe river so i ain't taking the bike there and i'm going to go for a little bit of a ride i've gotten into the habit of not listening to music while i do aerobic exercise it makes exercising a good time to think and like today i'm going to be combining the exercise with preparing for cortex so i've taken a look at the show notes i've loaded them up in my head i'm going to go for a little bike ride and think about what I'm going to talk about on Cortex today. Just as soon as I can figure out how to get down into the park. Now it's time to attach the GoPro. Perfect. Thanks, little buddy. That was way better than cycling indoors. Time for shower and podcast. Oh no, this is the worst. I have to hide now for a little while. I'm going to be late to the podcast. Can't do a podcast unless you have enough coffee to get through a podcast. I am bringing the coffee. I finally did it. What did you do? We re in the same place. We re working on something together in the same place. We re at Wodek again. We air. But last year you made me record in a hotel room, and you were in your hotel room, and we used Skype. Yes that's true this year you suggested why don't we record in person i didn't suggest it i feel like you did you suggested it and i agreed because i have a lot of audio equipment in my room right now that i really didn't want to unbox that makes sense okay put the button on me everyone is gone i'm still here because i need an extra day to prepare there's a place you need to get to by a certain time, and it's a bit, it's going to end up being a bit involved. So I'm using this vlog, which I originally thought was just going to be a short thing at some conferences, is going to end up being a much longer thing, like two or three parts. I don't know. That's future Grace editing problem. Now Grace problem is packing for suitcases and stuff the rule is only bags go inside of suitcases not things bags in suitcases things can go in the bags not in the suitcase all right i got the packing done way faster than expected because of course i realized i don't need to pack it well i just need to get it all boxed up so we act right now faster than the sec to this point anyway with nineteen home runs i'm sure it looked the way on the camera but holy hell let me hear the day before vidkin starts the pre-conference feeling is nice i always like being in places before the action happens as it's being set up it's the feeling of potential all that potential of what could be before what actually happens empties you to the core and this conference this vidkin is particularly draining because the longer you spend time near a, 
the more desaturated your life becomes. Boy, is adamantor in city form, but right now I'm still fresh. I like exploring. I like the feeling of solitude in places that should be full. It's peaceful, and it want to stay that way for long. It has begun. It has begun. Stay close. Coffee. I need you now more than ever. I am so exhausted. And these cookies are everywhere, depleting me will power in all off the lounges. Everywhere there errant crowds. There are cookies. A cookie would feel so good right now. But it a must resist. In case you re wandering, I stayed off of carbs during part two. It's been about three weeks so far without carbs, and this is the final hard stretch, as Vidkin is such an assault on the mind. And to cope with it, I've chosen poorly in years past. What? You overestimate the power of this. I don't understand why you think this is interesting. Brady's gonna want to see a snap from you. Okay. I am making better choices this time. Thank you very much. Thank you, your mother, mother, mother. But America really does help when there's a pizza button on the phone and a sign for the pizza button. I think they really want me to eat pizza. But I'm going to stay strong. Only two weeks left to escape from America, not fatter. I feel like this place is the opposite of me. So much screaming and filming. Okay, so the question was, you guys with your cameras, everybody behind you can to see me. Amazing. There's people everywhere. Well, almost everywhere. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Future Gray taking over here, as at this point past Gray was really pushed beyond his social limits. Suddenly there is no more talking to the camera. There's just simply no more talking. This first summer of Gray was exhausting beyond my ability to explain, but it was also a great and hugely successful trip. I wanted to tree to have more meetings with people, and boy did I ever. But it was time to go. I needed a break, and there was a place that I wanted to go where I could just be quiet and not have to see people and not have to do anything and just recharge for a while. So that's where I went, and there is perhaps nothing more uplifting to the human soul than taking a flight out of La to a place where you actually want to be. So I recharged for a while, I went back to North Carolina to see me family again, and then I returned home to London, and thus ended the summer of Grey. Oh right, I also came back not fatter. 